Hi friends, here is a Kinter window and we are displaying data in a tree view. So in this tree view data, the background colors, the font colors and this header colors, everything we can manage by managing the style. Let's see this. There are three radio buttons here. There, If I want to change the colors, I can click the one radio button. So the entire background color and font color, everything is changed. Now let's one more. Here is one more option and here the font style also is changed. So we'll, we can manage this by using TTK style properties and we'll learn how to do this. We'll start from here. This is the blank template we'll be using. And here first we are importing TTK because tree view is a part of TTK. So and then the, our Kinter, then uh, this is the parent window, my underscore W. And this is what will be, where we will be the placing our components. And you, here we are with and height we have specified here of the window you can change it whatever you want so now on this because we are focusing on the style of the tree view we'll paste the code what is required to uh, put the tree view on the window so once that is placed then we'll manage the style so here is the code i have just a few lines. it started from line number eight and up to 26 so this much code i have pasted to display the tree view in the window here you see at line number eight we have just declared that uh, object tree view and browse so headings height is five and it is part of the ttk so here we have mentioned ttk and you can watch our tutorial also we have explained a lot uh, discussed more about uh, how to manage the ttks its tags everything many tutorials are there on tt on tree view you can watch that for the basic of tree view now here it is that we have placed it and agreed slightly given column span of three because below that three radio buttons will try to place it so those radio buttons will come here because uh, uh, with that we will be changing the background color so accommodate that we have increased the column span to three and slightly we are not plus to the left edge pad x we are given and pad y from the top edge 10 we are given then there are columns we have specified one two then headings and tree so this is all the basics of uh, tree view and here you can see the columns we have specified the column width and alignment of it then the headings three labels are there we are using three uh, text labels label id and name and how it should be where it should be aligned like that then three rows of data we have placed it so the insert command we have used and some sample data we have uh, placed there and that under the tree view so you can uh, display it properly so let's just save this and see how this looks here it is this is our you can see headers are there and three records we have inserted we'll apply style now this should be different than the what the our default style or when the window opens up first time so let's declare the variable style you can give any other name also ttk because this is the ttk library we are using now i am just saying style and it is applicable to my parent window so i am giving my underscore w this we have declared it at line number four here at the top you can see that i am using it here so then now this to this will add what theme I will use so style dot theme use so I am using the name is cla c l a m so you can use anything else also experiment with others theme to use now then on this theme what should be my I will configure it now so style dot configure so now what first thing is which component it is so tree view i'm giving it to tree view now what is the first one is background background uh, i'm giving it as because it's the it should be different than the normal one because uh, when it lo application loads this will be the one so i'm to giving it black these names of the color i am uh, lighting because it supports a list is available that link i'll will leave it at the description you can see that you can use hex code also so then fill field background so this particular one is also i let me give black we'll see how it affects this is suppose the records are already there and the balance area whatever is there that will call it as for the field background so that we will be using it here now foreground foreground means the font color or whatever the yes font color whatever you are using 
foreground equal to white. We will start the our uh, headings uh, style. Now, we will say style dot configure again configure, but this time it is not the only the tree view, tree view down dot heading. Now, this what should be the its background color, background equal to I are saying powder blue, you, there that least you can powder blue, this list is available, you can use whatever color you want. So, that is the one we can use it. Now, here you can see that uh, we these are the default uh, colors whatever we have asked. Now, let us run once and see how with this default color it looks. Here it is. You can see the top headings we have given a different well powder blue here. Let me bring it here. Okay, Here it is and all the tree views whatever it is configure background is black field background is also black, foreground is white. Now, let us just see by changing this field background what difference we are getting. So, I am just closing this making this black to yellow. Just watch what is the difference is coming. You can see this, this particular portion become yellow because the our data, uh, the row data ends here. Now, let us place the radio buttons to manage the uh, our color style. So, for that I will say R1 underscore V. This is a string variable I want to declare because it is the first set of radio button T k dot string var. Now, I will give a initial value to it. I am giving it as black. So, once it is my this particular radio button, this variable will be connected to three set of radio button. You know one set of radio button must have the common variable because that is how one you need select other one will deselect. So, that is why now let us place the R 1, R 1 equal to our radio button 1 T k dot radio button. Now, where it should be placed? Okay, first my parent window is my underscore w. Now, what should be the text written? I am just black. This is the text part only. So, this is there. Then variable. Variable is r 1 underscore v. Now, that is our this thing. Then, what should be the value of it? Once this radio button is selected, what value should go? I am just giving black. Now, once that is there, now what should happen when this button is radio button is selected or clicked? So, now here I am saying that I will be here command equal to now lambda, lambda, then this uh, lambda, then I am calling it to a another function my upd or my update. Now, passing the variable a uh, one data is a parameter will receive it the, at the other end. So, black. Now, that is that is my radio button is ready. Let me give here a gap. So, you can this is the radio button, this is the variable I have declared. So, now what I will do, I will place it on a grid first, then I will copy. So, here it is my update, but my update function we have not yet declared it here. So, now the grid r1 dot grid. Now, where it should be? It should be at row 2, row equal to 2, column equal to 1. Why? Because so see, you can see our tree view. We have placed it here at the top. You can see here it is. See this. This is at the row equal to one, column one, and we are given a column span of three. So for that we are coming here next row, leftmost it is radio button, and like that two more radio buttons will come. So for that purpose we are giving it here. Now what I will do? I will just copy this code R one grid row two column up to this I will copy copy this now come over here paste it r2 this should be this is r3 so what i will do i will change this to r2 now for r2 i am going this i'll write it here white then variable remains same it must be same because it's a radio button we can't have a different if a different set of radio button is there then it can change so command now let me just give it r2 and same row right of the first one so it will be column will be 2 so right of the column 1 now let me give this as r3 
anything more i missed uh, sorry here the most important part is what should it should pass white so that is one r3 radio button text now my r3 i am keeping it as yellow yellow variable must be same now i am specifying yellow now let it is come back here i had to specify yellow this is the once this radio button is clicked this particular data should pass so that's what i am saying now let me change this to r3 and same row and column is right of the second radio button so this should come 3 because top one is 1 2 3 the column first one second next one next one row right of it so all the three radio buttons i have pressed uh, placed on the my grid now these radio buttons one thing is i have to give the function otherwise i can't test the layout because that's that will generate error otherwise so for that purpose here let me just define the function define my update and let it receive the color what it is and inside that i am just giving it let me check the passing it i'll write the code here but before that let me check how it looks so let i'm running it here it is you can see okay my three radio buttons because columns column span i have given three so it's a white now nothing no change no nothing is happening because we are not written anything inside the function we'll change this based on the our if condition if call equal to this if it is equal to white means you just see this is receives the on the click of the radio button means this second radio button is clicked so if it is white now what it should do it i'll give a configure now style dot configure this is what is the configure now tree view again all the tree view now background we are saying background equal to now white now after this background then the field background will say let me come field uh, background field background it is again white and foreground is black so we'll just move foreground color is again black so under this condition so if now one more check elif means if this is not true then one more check you do call if it is equal to yellow because you see this is the black white and yellow three radio buttons we have ch checking so the last one will put a else condition anyway let it be so i am just instead of typing all this story here i will just copy this come here press enter pressing it now here on in case of uh, yellow sorry this is style yellow yellow is pressed what should happen background i am making it yellow now again field background is uh, yellow so complete window will be yellow now then in this case foreground is black let it be so no problem now i am coming out else if nothing is matching if both the conditions are not matching then else so that means white yellow then the black one is clicked so here we'll say background is black fill background if you don't want it to uh, so here w h i i must white okay this should be fill background should be black now foreground is let me give white because this is what we are actually matching to the default one what you have initially created that's all now let's just uh, if there is no error we'll see this how this changes fine so okay default one here we have not changed restored it so at the top of the screen you can see we kept it as yellow here let me just pull it up yeah so yellow here that's why it is coming okay now black now let me just change it to white you can see the entire background has changed and then i can make it yellow 
So, okay, fine. Let us come back to black again. So, it is black, white, whatever way we want. But one thing we have not adjusted here that is the how the can you change the font also? Font style can you change? That we will see now. Let me declare the font here. Font 1 equal to it is a list and I am giving first is the family. So, times is a font family size 18. Then the style I can give bold, italic, normal or underline. Let me just to differentiate let underline. So, it will uh, to differentiate between the others I am given underline here. So, now this font I will associate it with you with one of the condition when I am clicking the yellow this font should apply. So, I am just giving here font equal to font 1 what I have declared now. So, I am whenever the yellow is the radio button is clicked use this particular. Let us just see how this comes off. Okay, so sorry here I forgot the comma here. Let me save this run once again here it is. Now, moment I come to yellow was this the font has changed underlines have come, but if I will restore it back it will not change because we have not written exclusively for that what should be there. So, it continues with that. That is all friends this was a question asked. So, how to change the background and all so the style property we can manage it well and change everything font background again uh, your field background everything we can be managed so the request you please share this with your friends and please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions put it in the comment section below accordingly we'll work on it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching